Hey everybody, welcome to the Science of Golf Performance. My name is Tyler and I just recently wrote an article about why golfers need to be training year round. So I hope you're able to check it out. If not, you can check the link uh, just below. Okay? Um, why do golfers need to be uh, training year round? Uh, it's very important. One is to limit injury. So we see it all too often here at Par for Success is golfers come in, they train with us throughout the winter, hey, later into the spring, but once the weather starts to turn around, hey, the courses open back up, they get out and they play as much as they can and they put training aside. They don't think they necessarily need to be training because at that time they're prioritizing their time more so on the golf course. Hey, wrong. I'm here to tell you that that is not what you should be doing. Hey, um, the first thing that happens when you start to um, spend time away from the weight room, hey, you condense your training down or maybe you completely stop training and all, hey, is you start to lose your muscle strength and your muscles start to atrophy. So you start to lose muscle size as well. Hey? You might not notice it at first because obviously you're golfing, you're not lifting a barbell, but within three to four weeks, you can begin to see a loss in muscle strength. Um, the other two uh, risks or the other two, I guess, uh, downsides of stepping away from the gym during the season is you talk about hey, your fiber type, your muscle fiber type. You have fast twitch and you have slow twitch muscle fiber. So obviously golf is a very anaerobic sport. So you're primarily utilizing the fast twitch muscle fibers. Hey? When you step away from training, what we found is when you step away from training, your uh, amount or the volume of fast twitch fibers decreases while the percent of slow twitch fibers increase. Hey? And then the last thing that we also see here at Par for Success is overall joint mobility. So you talk about the four major rotary centers, your neck, your spine, your hips, as well as your shoulders. Hey, you see up to a 30% decrease in joint mobility. And this right here is happening in as little as four weeks from stepping away from the gym. So um, maybe it hasn't happened to yourself. Maybe it has happened to a friend. You step away from an off-season training program going all winter long into the fall, training three, four days a week. Then you start to play come late July, early August, you see an injury, okay? Maybe that injury is gonna sideline you for a lot longer than what you really thought it was versus being able to get into the gym and train while you could have been preventing that injury. So just to give you a really uh, quick, um, I guess, example of what can potentially happen from stepping away from the gym during season. Right here, I have, let's just call this person Golfer X. Okay? She's a female golfer. This was her test numbers in February of 2019. Okay? Her swing speed, she was, seven, she was swinging 78.2 miles an hour. She was generating over 6,000 watts of vertical peak power, and her T-spine mobility was a pass. Actually, her entire mobility was a pass. She passed every single mobility test. She took the entire summer, okay, from February 2019 to August 2019, she took the entire summer off from the gym. All she did was she played golf. She played golf, um, committed to her job, and did nothing else that had that pertained to training. She come back in August, tested it once again, she was then swinging 70.6 miles an hour. Her vertical peak power had dropped by over 200 watts, and she was now failing the T-spine mobility pet, or she was now failing the T-spine mobility test. She also had another handful of um, nakes and pains here and there from not doing her mobility as well as not completing her strength training. So. Um, here today to tell you whether it be carving out a day or two, we look to try and make it anywhere from an hour to an hour and a half a week. In-season training is important. Do not be like this golfer. Do not be like golfer X and come back in August swinging eight miles an hour less, hitting the ball almost 20 yards less okay, by taking time off from the gym and spending too much time out on the course. So I hope you find this uh, resourceful and helpful. If you liked it, give the video a like, give the channel a subscribe, and check out the rest of our content. <laughs>